Hi, everyone. It is April 30, 2019. Well, excuse my language, but the violent shit show has begun in Venezuela. I'm starting this video. Please let this headline sink in. Every liberal city in America is headed toward Venezuela. Get out while you can. Yes, but it's not just liberal cities. We are. The entire country is going Venezuela. And when you have so many in the younger generation who are calling for socialism, you know that a dramatic change, a radical change, has occurred here in the United States. And you know that, well, I don't know if everybody knows, but listen to the dictators in the Soviet Union when they say, all I need is one generation and I will control that country. That's a paraphrase of, was it Stalin's? Is that a Stalin quote? I can't even remember. Because with the frequencies, it, we're, we're losing our memory. So many of us are losing our memory. We have a frequency war that has been taking place and the extremely low frequencies, especially, are uh, very powerful. And they can, they can actually warp your mind. They affect your brain. They affect the ability of your brain to work properly, function properly. Why do I bring that up? because it's relevant in this war. There are so many methods. The arsenal is so huge now, especially with this technology that they have, to render the American population completely dysfunctional, unable to even figure out what the hell is going on, but with these endless wars, there, we now, there's no way to stop anything that is taking place. Does that mean we give up? No, it doesn't. Even if you just continue for your own soul. But yes, this is where we're headed. And for the Americans who just can't see what is taking place here in this country, I'm sorry, they don't want to see it. They just want to be comfortable. They don't want to be scared. Just let me live my little life while everything around me is falling apart. Not just in this country, the entire world. And the United States of America is absolutely the number one culprit in the world going nuts. And of course, there are other countries just as powerful. And look, we, we, the United States government, the United States military is working with Russia, is working with China. Um, it, it's hard to really come up with a definitive assessment of what is taking place. But when you watch these headlines, you'll know that, well, unless we do something now, we are all, we are all in for a, such a change to live it that it will be unimaginable. I used to say years ago, well, actually, when I was still in Great Barrington, 2011, when I was posting, I said, look, if we cannot get these agendas under control or uh, at least slow down. We are looking at something that uh, is going to be very difficult to survive, but it will be unimaginable because even in 2011, we were living the unimaginable. Well, the unimaginable has become real. We're living it now. And now we're facing even more unimaginable coming our way. Yes, we are going Venezuela. So when I saw this article, 
posted just a couple of days ago. Activists protect D.C. Venezuelan embassy from U.S. supported coup. The Trump or orchestrated plan of creating a parallel government in Venezuela and then simply taking over diplomatic premises is totally illegal. Get it. When you have a criminal takeover of your government, they do not care what is legal, what is constitutional. It doesn't matter. Morals, gone. Everything, gone. We have had a criminal organization uh, that has become increasingly criminal, immoral, evil, certainly since JFK's assassination. Now, it was, we had an awful lot of criminals in our government from the beginning, uh, but it was really after JFK, that's when the criminals started having, exercising consistent power to take down the United States. And, yeah, it's hard to, it's hard to comprehend. How is it that people uh, want full control of the world? Well, there are crazy, sick, twisted people, and they're in full power now. They have been in full power for many, many years. They were in full power during the Bush administration, Obama administration. They continue on in the Trump administration. So on March 18, Representatives of Venezuelan opposition leader Juan Guaido took over the military attache building 2409 California Street in Washington, D.C. with the help of the D.C. Police and Secret Service. On that same day, they also took over the Venezuelan consulate in New York City, completely illegal. The only other country has been Costa Rica. Costa Rica that has uh, taken over diplomatic premises. Throughout the rest of the world, Venezuelan diplomatic premises continue to be staffed by Maduro's administration, even in countries that recognize Guaido as interim president. Well, guess what? The United States controls the rest of those countries. They understand that Guaido does not have any control inside Venezuela, so his representatives would not be able to carry out normal diplomatic tasks. So I'm not going to go into um, what has been taking place in Venezuela, certainly for the last two decades, that our country, <clears throat> our government, our military, our CIA, has been working to take control over Venezuela. I have plenty of videos showing you the facts and the evidence that what I am saying is absolutely true. They're on my channel. I'm not going to go into it again. And look, you know, it's, uh, I understand everybody has their, you know, moment of awakening. And we're all on different pages. So right now the world is truly just in a frenzy. And it's hard to go into every fact and evidence to prove exactly what it is you're saying in every video. So for those who have questions, you will have to do your research to bring you up to speed on what our government has been doing, not just to Venezuela, but to countries around the world. Um, so what's going on? I wake up to this. Heavy gunfire breaks out and terrified civilians run through clouds of tear gas for cover after Venezuela's Juan Guaido calls for military uprising to overthrow President Maduro. Okay, and then here it is. You see the pictures. You see the video. Uh, I don't see anyone in military garb. What I see is, you know, a lot of these... Just a lot of in black garb and helmets. Okay, you do know that we have already infiltrated Venezuela. And I said in, I don't know, my last or second to last video on Venezuela, uh, 
do not, if something arises and suddenly military action is going on in Venezuela, do not think it's Maduro. Do not think that it's the Venezuelan military. How many times have we created these false flags? How, you know, all over the world. So in understanding what is happening in one country, you really do need to have some basis, some foundation of understanding of how our government and military and CIA um, have their operations in so many countries. And um, when we want to take over a country, we do whatever the hell we like to do. And mainstream media is no longer an independent, um, it, it, it does not produce independent investigation. It is thoroughly a propaganda outlet for the United States, for the CIA to produce information so that, well, in many countries, the CIA has taken over. For Americans, they produce the information that gets you to sit back and think you're doing the right thing. Your country's doing the right thing. You're morally superior. You're helping those Venezuelans. Get off your childlike uh, naive delusion. We are evil here, okay? Not, not the we, you know, most Americans are just so dumbed down and stupid and self-centered. Um, but our government is not morally superior. We don't take humanitarian action in countries. We incite wars because we want to take over those countries. We want Venezuela's oil. Get it through your heads, please, Americans. Oil. That's why we're doing this. Trump supporters. Trump is no different, okay? Get off your, you know, uh, these comments that I get from Trump supporters. No matter how much evidence I produce that shows that Trump is no different you still have to support this guy and then attack me. You won't look at the evidence. Do you know why we're going down? Because we can't get our thinking right. We can't think properly. Trump aids back unfolding Venezuela coup attempt. So yeah, it's going on. It's going on, guys, in Venezuela. The man leading the charge to topple Nicolas Maduro from power says this is the beginning of the end of Maduro's reign. Juan Guaido says he now has members of the nation's military on his side. His team says there are military uprisings throughout the country and he's asking the Venezuelan people to stand with him. All right, you know, <laughs> are you going to believe CNN? Are you going to believe that it's Juan Guaido and somehow he's convinced the Venezuelan military to stand with him and not Maduro when the military in Venezuela has been standing with Maduro all along and suddenly that changes, you're being lied to and this attempted coup attempt in Venezuela, another attempted coup attempt by the United States, this is all orchestrated for you to believe that Maduro is the dictator, he's got to go, and Juan Guaido, he's the savior of the Venezuelan people. He's the American puppet. He's the guy that they want to control. This is what we do in every country. And yes, because it's been going on for so long, it is incredibly frustrating, maddening, that we can't get through to our fellow Americans to just please Get off the lie and please put yourself on the road of truth. Man, you want to actually uh, realize that delusion that you got going in your head, morally superior, then you've got to, you've got to change course. You got to get on the road of truth in order to make that happen, manifest. Hey, morally superior, okay? But we are so not.
I then go to YouTube. Venezuela opposition leader Guaido calls for military uprising. Military uprising in Venezuela. Russian helicopters to boost Venezuela's Maduro. Right. Russia now involved in the on-the-ground fighting in Venezuela. Ah, we couldn't get it through sanctions. We couldn't get it through um, taking down their power grid and leaving them in the dark uh, for long periods of time. We couldn't do it when, um, uh, oh Jesus, Chavez was in office. We've been trying with Maduro since he's been in office. Okay, now we're just going to do it violently. Well, the whole thing has been violent, but um, so yeah, here we go. Mainstream media. All you're going to get is mainstream media. All you're going to get on YouTube when you put in Venezuela is mainstream media telling you the official narrative and you're not going to, you're going to try to find videos like mine or Florida Marquee, which, you know, I do um, think that you should check it out. I will link below to his channel. He's posted so much on Venezuela. Um, and my hunch is that he's going to be posting when he realizes, okay, great. Now, now it's bullets. Now it's people dying. Now it's going to be bombs. Now it's going to be tear gas. Now it's going to be violent, violent takeover. A violent, are you tired of the violence? I'm so sick of the U.S. military. I am so sick of our country committing violence all over the world. And the lies, we're there to, <laughs> we're there because we care about the Venezuelan people. We want them to have a better life. Get off it, please. Get off it. Everybody's life becomes worse when we take over. So, it's happening. And here's the live feed. <laughs> see pictures like this where there's tanks on the roads and then please um, get that Maduro may very well be trying to stop this takeover attempt but mainstream media will present it as you know the military working for uh, Juan Guaido to take back Venezuela for the people most of the people in Venezuela, outside of the very rich, they want Maduro in power. They had fair elections. Doesn't matter that you've heard from our leader, Trump, and mainstream media reporters saying that he was, um, that he was not elected fairly. Yes, he was. So it's yet another, you know, hey, look, we want what we want, all right? And we don't care how we get it. We're just going to get it. Oh, we're going to lie and deceive the American public, but, and that seems to be a very easy thing to do with the American public, and we're just going to take over. Oh, God, I am sick of this. I am. Uh, are you? I, I hope you are. But look at these, look at these tanks. I'm going to be posting a video after this with the tanks. I'm sure a lot of you saw the tanks, the mile long um, train of tanks on the rail, railroad tracks in Sacramento, California. Um, these are a different color. Ours are green, but they look very similar. Russia, by the way, is involved in what's taking place in Venezuela. But also understand this, please. Russia, <laughs> look, Russia's spy plane set to fly over America this week. Do you know how often Russia has been spotted in the Gulf of Mexico, 
and there's submarines uh, flying over the United States. They're not our enemy. That's just part of the staged theater that you're watching. The United States, China, Russia, they're all working together. They are not our enemy. They're all working towards this new world order. So what? how could we possibly have an agreement with Russia to um, surveil, fly your reconnaissance planes over the United States? <laughs> fly it over U.S. sensitive military sites. Now, a lot of people might leave a comment saying, you're getting this from Zero Hedge. Zero Hedge is artificial intelligence. Uh, so you don't know that this has been going on for years with the Russian, uh, the with Russia flying their reconnaissance planes. You didn't know that I posted videos on this Kafka Instant World years ago with Russia flying over the United States. <sighs> Unbelievable. They're allowed to fly where U.S. commercial jets are forbidden. Yep. Russia to conduct observation flight over U.S. territory April 22nd through the 27th. Go ahead. Oh, but w we have a Cold War that ignited again, right? You're all getting bullshit. And so many of you, thank God, see right through it. But we do have an awful lot of even the awake crowd who suddenly just got on the Trump bandwagon and they're not even seeing it. So when you see that happen and you see, oh, well, we were on the same page, now we're not on the same page, you know we're dead in the woods because, you know, the infighting that takes place, you can't organize with anybody and, you know, people leaving crap comments that, you know, um, that insinuate wrongly things about other people and then you lose trust and we're a mess. We're a friggin mess. I don't like being such a mess and having to see the destruction of the world by these criminal psychopathic elitist nut jobs every single day only getting worse and worse. And where I go with this is, oh my god, so many people are suffering. So many people are suffering and I don't like it. I don't like it, you know, it, it, it upsets me. So here we've got Blackwater founder Eric Prince. He's operating in Iraq again. Oh my God. Okay, private, private mercenaries is, yes, what we have been uh, paying to do our dirty work in so many different countries. Venezuela, we hire private mercenary like uh, mercenaries like Eric Prince, Blackwater. And I posted a video on all of these mercenary companies. My God, it's a whopping billion, billion dollar uh, industry making an awful lot of money. And when you have these private mercenaries, they are not about the Constitution of the United States. They're about, hey, give me a paycheck and I'll kill anybody you want me to kill. I'll torture anybody you want me to torture. They don't have any loyalty to any country. They just get the job done for people like Netanyahu, Trump, back in Iraq. And you want to think that Trump is different. He's so not. You know, the war on Syria continues. How many times did he say, I'm pulling our troops out of Syria? And how many times did he say, we have been victorious over ISIS? Yay! It's kind of like Bush, you know, getting onto that um, military ship with uh, that banner that said, Mission Accomplished. And it wasn't. Everything's a lie. A bold-faced lie. The war on Syria continues. Iran is next. Well, we should see what's happening with Iran. 
which I will post a video on. Um, we're in we're in deep shit, guys. And so when we see, and I'm going to post a video on these military drills going on in our big cities, these urban warfare training that have been going on for, well, since 9-11, we've had so many mili military drills that operate in urban cities. They don't even tell the residents. They just go ahead and start flying over with their military helicopters and they simulate um, uh, fire, you know, guns that you hear or um, sound like, you know, the rapid fire explosions. And the residents of these cities don't even know what the hell is going on. Everything that we are living is completely uh, different than what we used to live. We had that thing called posse comitatus. Our military is not to be on the streets of America. We have a military militarized police. Posse comitatus separated military from local law enforcement or domestic law enforcement. Now it's all come together. So we've had a soft coup in our country. It's been successful. The soft coup met almost no resistance because Americans, they have their delusion and you can't bust through it. You can't tell them the truth. They like their delusion. Yeah, okay, so fine. You know, there is corruption in our government, but it's not like other countries. Oh my God. Well, yeah, it is. Far worse, actually, because nothing limits, nothing limits our military. It is psychopathic. It is a sick, twisted institution. U.S.-led bombing campaign in Syria killed 1,600 civilians and left Raqqa, most destroyed city in modern times. You like what you've done, Americans? Yeah, you can't separate yourself from what's happening with your own government. Sorry, you can't. Yeah, you can think you can. It's not me, it's the government doing this. Are we not part of this country? I love how people, you know, get to pick and choose and select, you know, what they're going to believe and what they're not going to believe and whatever works for me is how I'm going to use my brain. Well, look at the reality, guys. You know, this is what we've done to Syria and it's really... What did we do to Iraq? What did we do to Libya? What did we do to Afghanistan? What have we done all over the world? This. This. So it's fine for you because you still have your home and a bomb hasn't hit it. It's not fine for all the people who lived in these apartments here in Syria. And who, who, if there's any possibility to stop a military from what it's doing, who is going to do that? It's going to be the people in the country that rise up and demand, you know, the, uh, demand that their officials actually keep their campaign promises? Trump, I'm getting the U.S. out of these unnecessary wars while he just continues them and creates more of Venezuela. So, yeah, when you believe the liar, you're going to be in trouble. This is a very good article. The European Union is obliged to participate in U.S. wars. I'm not going to go into it, but yes, under NATO, uh, which provides their defense, NATO, which is under the United States exclusively. All members of the European Union and NATO are obliged to apply U.S. sanctions. Why do I bring this up? Because a whole lot of people, when you hear mainstream media reporters, when you hear you know, Trump and our government officials say, the world is with us. 
Bullshit. We strong arm countries. If you don't do what we want you to do, then we will attack you. So that's how we get our coalitions. And Putin and Kim announced the U.S. is irrelevant. Well, we have made ourselves irrelevant. We're only relevant in the violence that we commit all over the world. That's it. That's what we produce. Violence. That's what we produce. We produce evil, lies, violence. Military. That's it. That's what the United States is. Manufacturing. Offshore it to another country. Let's not produce anything. Oh, we produce tech. Technology. And where did that get us? But, yeah. So, it's all a staged play. When you see something like this, you got to think, okay, we're certainly not irrelevant, right? Okay. And when you know that all of these leaders are working together, that you are watching a staged just play. It's a theater. It's absurd, violent theater, what you watch every single day. United Nations. United Nations will be the power that governs the world. And one of the ways in which people of the world will say, yay, the United Nations is stepping up. Let's get rid of all of these governments because they're causing so much chaos and they're causing so much violence and they're causing so much suffering and the wars have got to stop. They're all over the place. Oh, my God. And then the United Nations announces governments cannot, cannot continue. We've got to make a radical change, and the United Nations is stepping in. And a whole lot of people will go, thank God, thank God, the United Nations will bring us peace. And then that's part of the scenario to manipulate the world. In part, that's why you're seeing so many wars. Yeah, they're profitable for the military-industrial complex, but in part, it is to cause so much violence and so much chaos all over the world, leaving people in, in, in survival mode where they will say, just do whatever it is that you can to stop this madness. And then all of a sudden, the leaders say, okay, let's hand it to the United Nations. Yeah, and some leaders may um, come out and resist it, but China is all on board with the New World Order, and so is Russia. So do not think that these people are our enemies. They Well, they are all our enemies, just like Trump is our enemy, but they're not enemies with one another. So, look, you know, this is utter madness. And just remember, there's no way out. There's no way that Americans will not suffer the consequences of its inaction and its silence. Karma cause and effect really does exist and your your action has a ripple effect and your inaction also has an effect living a delusion that you're great and every other you know people of the world just don't measure up that has been going on with Americans forever, my entire life. We're not. We're the opposite of it. When you ignore the truth about your own self, it catches up to you. And eventually, now, 
millions upon a millions of Americans have already suffered the consequences. You don't hear from them. What you hear from is that group that is becoming smaller and smaller every single day. The Americans who are comfortable living the delusion that, hey, everything that these crazy conspiracy theorists are talking about, it's just not happening. I'm going to ignore it and I'm just going to live in my little bubble because, well, it means I don't have to change and I'm still comfortable and everything's fine. That group is becoming smaller and smaller. If you really delve into it and do some research on every all of these agendas that have been taking place in our country, you will see that Venezuela, oh, it's it's actually not coming. Um, it's here in many areas around the country. It's only going to spread. It's up to you whether you want to just sit back and let it spread into your area or become involved. And yes, we need individuals in the aggregate to get involved. Well, what <laughs> what's the likelihood of that happening? But it's it is it it's so horrifying to see what has taken place the radical changes that have taken place in our country. It's horrifying to see, yet again, here we go, the United States doing what it does best. Kill. Lie, cheat, steal all over the world. All links are below.